restaurants idea came out of uh, when we would host a lot of parties in our home. We would have lots of guests in our in our house. That when we when we did a restaurant of our own, we wanted to create that same atmosphere of being in our house and being able to entertain people in a in a space that's a very personal space and do the things that um, create this kind of food, the kind of atmosphere, and the kind of aura of celebration that we had in our house. Jerry and I met when uh, when I first arrived in Chicago from California in the early 90s. We met at a restaurant that we were both uh, working at and fell in love there. And after 15 years of working together, we figured we could continue to work together on a project of our own. In 2005, we were really all over the city and we started in Edgewater and we ended up um, back here in Edgewater and opened in the fall of 06. Well, we call ourselves an American bistro. It's in part of the bistro, connotates the, both the casual nature of the restaurant and the friendly pricing. It's such a, a big world of food and wine that uh, if there's something that interests us, if there's a taste that interests us, we're gonna, we're gonna run with it a little bit. We have uh, feature wine flights and they're usually region specific. So if I'm doing a wine flight from the south of France, we're gonna focus on foods from the south of France, particularly uh, when, when they're in season bourbon glazed salmon over grilled sweet potatoes with julian vegetables. The sweet, smoky nature of the bourbon glaze and the richness of the salmon lends itself to Pinot Noir. It also lends itself to some nice rich Syrah from the, from the Rhone. PEI mussels in a saffron Dijon and thyme broth with some toasty bread that is perfect with, uh, with muscadet or uh, Pinot Blanc from the, from the Alsace, French wines that are rich in minerality. Chorizo hash with sunny eggs, cilantro cream, salsa, green onions, and that uh, spicy dish first thing in the morning demands a Bloody Mary. We always have something going on, or at least we try to. Um, you know, we, we spend an enormous amount of time here, so we like to have some, some fun and entertaining events going on as well. We're right next to Loyola University, and we try to have programs that are friendly to the uh, students' budget. On uh, Monday nights, we have what we call our, our burger night. It's our uh, cheeseburger, fries, coleslaw, uh, top quality ingredients that we do for $5. On Tuesday nights, you can come in and um, our entire wine list is available for half price bottles of wine, and we have a jazz guitarist here as well. Thursday nights, we offer our fixed price menu. Our fixed price menu includes wine pairings, so we do a thoughtful wine pairing with each of the dishes that we offer. We have wine tastings that are typically themed to a, um, a, an event or a time of year. We have winemaker dinners, which is uh, typically a four or five course degustation dinner um, where the food's paired to the wines. We also have a very popular, very busy brunch on the, on the weekends, and I think you come in here, you stop by on any Sunday, and you'll, you'll meet half of Edgewater. Having a mimosa. Or two. Or two. <laughs> Being a neighborhood restaurant, we wanted everyone who lives in the neighborhood to feel comfortable here. Um, whether that's um, going to be a birthday party or if it's going to be um, a private event, uh, if it's going to be a um, mom who's got her kids across the street at the armory during their gymnastics lesson, she feels comfortable coming in by herself and sitting reading her book and having dinner and a glass of wine. And we just uh, try to always have something interesting and fun going on. Uh, give people a reason to come in and check us out if they haven't already.